Jim San is here today with the FanDuel Hurry Up, where you're talking about undervalued tight ends for season-long fantasy football. One guy on that list for me is Mike Gesicki, currently the tight end 11, but he's my tight end number 8. There is more competition for targets now in my end, which is a down thing for Mike Gesicki, but he gets the kind of targets we want, downfield targets and red zone targets, and there should be more red zone targets to go around this year because the Dolphins' offense should get a tick up with Will Fuller and Jalen Waddell now in the fold. Gesicki may not get as many raw targets, but the kinds of targets he gets have a lot of value, and to me, that is worthwhile as a tight end 11 of being a target in the middle rounds of drafts. Another guy I like this year is Irv Smith of the Minnesota Vikings. Currently the tight end 12. He is my tight end number 9. And it's similar to Gesicki. Irv Smith gets the kinds of targets that we want. Over the final four games at the end of last year with no Kyle Rudolph, Irv Smith only had 14% of the Vikings targets. But he had 25% of the team's deep targets in that time and 29% of the red zone targets. This is a team that is efficient from a passing perspective and will generate trips to the red zone. And when they get there, they showed last year they will throw Irv Smith the football. Irv Smith definitely has the talent, a former high-end draft pick now getting a larger role. And to me, he deserves to be a target for us at tight end in that, that mid-tier where there aren't a lot of firm answers. If you're looking for a super sleeper at tight end this year, give me Blake Jarwin. And yes, there is plenty of risk with Blake Jarwin because he's coming off an ACL. And that means he may not have a big role in this offense. But it doesn't really matter. He's going as a tight end 23, which means the risk for him is basically non-existent. If he doesn't get targets, cut him and go somewhere else. But the upsides here are there. Jarwin showed in 2019 he could produce when he got volume. He did exactly that. And now he goes to an offense that looks to be pretty efficient for this year with a, a healthy offensive line, good weapons around Dak Prescott. And that means they should generate red zone trips. That's what we want for our tight end. Red zone trips, chances for touchdowns. So yes, the risk is there for Blake Jarwin, but so is the upside. And to me, that makes him a high quality target in the later rounds in your drafts. That's all we have for today on the FanDuel Hurry Up. I think these tight ends should be pretty fun. NFL season is just around the corner. We'll talk to you once again next week right here on the FanDuel Hurry Up.